Hey there, Demond here. I figured I'd take a moment to discuss or explain one of the more underutilized features of the NPC one, in my opinion, anyway. Um, I'm going to talk about how to connect and utilize the CV and gate outputs. Check this out. For this demonstration, we're going to be using the Behringer Neutron as our module. Next, we have to establish our connections. So what we'll do is we'll insert a 3.5 millimeter cable into CV gate ports one, two, and three, respectfully. Next up, we want to make sure that CV gate port one is connected to oscillator one's input of the neutron. CV gate port two is connected to the VCA input and CV3 is connected to the pulse width modulation. From here, what we'll do is we'll feed oscillator one's output into the VCA input. And then finally, we will run the VCA output into our mixer. Next up, we wanna make sure that our CV program is activated. So we'll tap the CV program icon. We'll make sure that the CV port is set to CV1, the gate port is set to CV2, and that the mod wheel port is set to CV3. Next, we'll access the NPC1's grid editor. Once in the grid editor mode, I'm gonna open the automation lanes. I'm going to switch from velocity to CV port three. So for this, you'll have to add a new parameter. Once CV three has been added, what we'll do is we'll draw an automation curve. I've decided to draw a ramped curve. However, you can do pretty much whatever it is you want. And from here, all we have to do is dial in some node information. And from there, the NPC one will transmit pitch information, gate information, and pulse width modulation information directly into the neutron. All right, hopefully that was helpful to everyone. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you around.